Now, but of any video, Nebra, Momo, Asamo Kaye, I want Akufadu to listen to this woman. The reason why she's here, yes, they just want to create presence. Yeah, well, yaba. Play it. Mia and President Hishalema, we will build on the previous meetings I have had with each of them to strengthen democracy and good governance, promote peace and security, build on long-term economic growth, and strengthen our business ties. U.S. President Ijina Honka say, so Jani Ben Ayen Lati Wanechi. Or the security papa bye. Why, why na Ayen Lati Wanechi? Yes, why had some kutreni at the president and Jitu said, no. Because of my speech. Nechi wa ina ye mula. Why na Jina Nechi Lati wa airport wa? Open space. Ya ka sam chama munti ase, eh, security. Crossed for I am a brother, I know about Kubia and Casa. When the Casa three minutes by doing you handkerchief paper when Mintas won't go. The Casa Tomamunta, look, so that you are, why not now? But we are bad man. Try anything nonsense. You will see something. This is security. You create empty space and fill it with brains. You call Cuba as well. Catch a head on. Create that space and fill it with your brain. Go try. You will see something. What's your role, Imeyanko? Promote peace and security. Number one, pause it. Build pause it. Mundi Machio. Be a fan of home man, okay? I say, I the queen to have a peace and security. I'm up and I'm in the US, so I'm going to go to the house. Go. On long term economic growth. Uh, yeah, Posset, long term economic growth. And yeah, medium term. To IMF for them, ma. And yeah, medium term. A uh, long term economic growth. Long term. The long term can be 100 years. No, 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 Long term economic growth. And yeah, medium term. You are looking for IMF. Yanko. And strengthen our business ties. Uh, yeah, and strengthen our business ties. Somebody should tell me. Alan John Kojo Chamate was the Minister of Trade and Industry under John Ajokunku for Okofa Agua. Okay, Agua. I was a Kufa Raji TV, no? We do half. Oslo, I have a wash answer. Mom Peja, yet Manue, or back to the old Kroma, me, I'm a Kabrofo. Man, I was a way of Alan Kofa Agua Ebaye Mufa Alan Chamatina Musano Socks, yes, yeah, the socks. Be free, ha, and the America. Now, while I'm gonna tell them in my dear, how are they? What is socks in free Ghana, Hako, America? Why the best of socks? Ghana for America, go and check Ghana socks. Because who see back one eye hold you to sub and jazz, eh? Why the best? Agua. Oh, you had to tie and die. Ghana has a secret tie and die, where you die, she. Can you imagine this rubbish? And our people are not thinking. When you talk, they say you are you are disrespectful. You don't respect leadership. You don't do this. You, you need to you need to honor leadership. If a leader is not a ladder for me to rise through that, that leader is a useless leader. Leaders are ladders upon which people must rise from nothing to something. So if you are a leader and you prevent me. From using you as a ladder to a certain destination that will bring profit to our country, you are a useless being. What kind of rubbish is that? Agua, a kwasi say, Honorable Kofi Kredwa Preku, a minister of uh, NEPAD and regional integration, of the Ministry of Trade and Industry, and a Bayan Alan Kwasen and I. What happened? Nothing. America would not accept anything from Ghana. The only thing America need, eh, Ghana for our America. Yes, sir. By even free and call on Monday, by internet board here, man, can you control me? 
ya na wo ba do new york me ya see wo fufuo ya ko new york ya see ya toto akonfem sa akonfem wo no wan wo amasa achi se ya toto what what are the papa men here what see see a per long term economic growth what can we exchange with america what do we have to exchange with america a bro yentimi ndua bro ye kra from ukraine banchi yentimi ndua banchi and they to come her banchi from ukraine ye kra banchi from china ye kra banchi from netherlands ye kra banchi from uk what can you exchange with us what can you somebody should tell me is it about technology? You don't have anything to exchange. They would have to impose what they know is right for you. But at the end of the day, they are taking away proper quality information out of this country. What do they have to offer us? They've got nothing. We are 66 years today. Somebody should tell me the footprint of America in this country, apart from the embassy. Somebody should show me one footprint of the United States of America. What have they done for us? They come here with their oil moguls to steal our oil. Is that not it? This rubbish must end and end now. She's the vice president of the United States of America, so what? These are partners, the stakeholders, major stakeholders. That promote us to trade. And we are glorifying this stupidity and this mediocrity. We don't have a shame to give honor to our citizens. Listen, let me tell you, I am watching a certain movie called The Designated Survivor. Somebody calling himself a former president in that movie, former President Morris, he told Kirkman. In the movie, the current president of the United States of America. There are 10,000 people sitting somewhere. As against just 15 American citizens. You know what happened in that movie? That former president advised. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That former president advised. The current president in that movie designated survivor that. The 15 American citizens are more important than the 10,000 people of that country. Go kill them and bring our people. Otherwise, you would have to negotiate. And then he said that America does not negotiate with terrorists. I said, well, you've got no option. Our citizens first. Tell me. How many Ghanaian citizens father in the United States of America that America will not sacrifice to make their country a better place? And somebody should tell me here. We are even afraid to think of that. I want you to listen to her speech. The things he said. She said, sorry. Why she's in Africa? Long term economic. Yes, we are the Let's go back to her speech. Continue. Forward during this visit to meet with entrepreneurs and artists and students and farmers to witness firsthand the extraordinary innovation. Pass it! Pass it! I see over here, over here, farmers. No way, she students. No way, she entrepreneurs. No way, you first hand. And you know, I'm going innovate, or be a sanko. Farmers in Ghana, they no more. I'm only wearing hair on them. Farmers in Ghana do not have anything. No tractors. No one to come out and buy me. I can tell you, one village, one dam. Irrigation. People were willing to give out lands for farming. Madam Harris, if you care to know, I know why you were here. I have a dumb government. They don't know. What can you offer the Ghanaian farmer, Madam Harris? You got nothing to offer us. And it's a shame that continuously, I make her think that the black race, we are fools. We are not, Madam Harris. We got brains like you. You are a black person. Your origin is from this country. But you have nothing to offer us. You are interested in the American flag. I am also interested in the Ghanaian flag, if you care to know. 
And you think that we're going to just stand, sit, aloof, and watch America play that stupid, useless international political gimmicks. We are not going to allow that anymore. If you have Nanadu who is as old as you can imagine, who cannot think at any point in time, I would allow you this space. We want to tell you, we the youth of this country, our brains are fully matured. Our brains are fully matured. This is nothing but a stupid visit. Because China visited Russia. Because China visited Russia. They had two days closed door meetings. For what? Taking over a lot of spaces in the world. America would have to play the gimmicks. We know it better now. The movies that you guys you've put together you thought that you were doing great service to yourselves. We have the money to buy your movies. We are learning from your movies. You better stop your movies. Because we've got the brains now. Let's say after this, what will happen? Nothing. Obama came here and gave us $15 million. You guys think we are fools. We are not anymore. We are not anymore. Listen, the people that moved from this country to the United States and to the United Kingdom to study, you guys were able to influence them to your patterns of life. You gave them just, just, just a microcosm of that piece of understanding of global politics. They chose to understand you guys, thinking that they would be able to do everything possible. But let me tell you, if ratings are nothing to eight, we will not be able to offer you that space anymore. We know our politicians are thieves. Madam Harris, we know. We know our politicians are useless people. We know. You think we don't know? We know. We know our politicians are corrupt. We know. Madam Harris, we know our politicians worship you as demigods. We know. But that time is now. That will look into your eyes and speak the plain truth to you. See, any video on you. Over here, innovation man, they're going. A Ghana, Ghana entrepreneur, Ghana farmer, innovation man, or what? Mami, we saw over here. Debbie, what don't you guys know about us? You have satellites ever. I mean, person can't say me. You have satellites that takes. I mean, everything in Ghana. No, Mami, we saw over here. I'm saying, Ghana, Nina, all your body, your body, entrepreneur. So now, where we are to go? Ah, I'll turn the whole table. So no, we're innovating. We need to ask about here. What don't you know? What innovation do we have? That you can tap into nothing. These are mere rhetorics, Madam Harris. These are just ordinary talk. The old gods do not understand your, your, your gimmicks. We do. Roll it, my uncle. And creativity that is occurring on this continent and inspiring the world. In particular, on this trip, I intend to do work that is focused on increasing investments here on the continent facilitating increasing investments on the continent what have you invested in africa apart from stealing from us madam harris somebody should tell her in plain language what in america i invested in africa apart from stealing from us you stole our human capital. You stole our gold. You stole our diamond. You stole our manganese. For Christ's sake, madam, you stole everything from us. You give us peanuts in exchange of elephants. You give us peanuts in exchange of elephants. And still the African leader will not think and have audacity to listen to rubbish. What can you offer? What kind of investment? What investment? To increase investment. Where? Is it in the northern region, upper east or upper west? Is it central or west? Is it greater crowd? Volta region? Where? Eastern region? Florida 
is far bigger than that of the entire Ghana. You still come here and tell us about investment. What can you invest? What have you done? Even your embassy, they take money from us as visa fees. When they refuse the visa, they, they will not even give us back our money. If I am buying something from you and you can't give me that, why do you still keep my money? Madam, Madam Harris, even your embassy, they are corrupt as the black people here. They take our money as visa fees and they will not even see the glory in that to return. You guys are also thieves. Let the old God celebrate you. We will not. We have liberated our brains. They will celebrate you. But we will continuously liberate our brains. But that day is coming. That day is coming and it's so close. Otherwise, wipe the entire Africa. And see if you can live. If you can survive. And you cannot do that. Then what? Specifically, in the areas of economic empowerment of women and girls, empowerment of youth entrepreneurship, inclusion. I say empowerment of girls and they. Go to the various American prisons, madam, and check teenagers, Ghanaian teenagers in your prisons. You are empowering who? Tell me about visiting Africa. I am not interested in where, whichever country, whichever country you want to visit. I don't care. I don't care where you want to visit in Africa. I care about my country because you don't care about UK. You standing there, you don't care about any other country apart from America. I care about my country too, Madam Harris. Go and check the various prisons in America. Young black, blacks in your prisons. America was pushing and chasing Ghana like a mad dog. All because some two Canadians were involved in drug trafficking here in this country. You whisked them away. Like a bloated bull. Took them out. Meanwhile, you have jailed several black people in your prisons. Can you exchange that in your so-called, with your uh, so-called investment? Yeah, Ghana policy for. God, yeah. This is GNA. Ghana security officer could do her. Yes, I change this class when you have to teach a new more. Can you imagine this rubbish? But up, Nana do could do UK. Ghana police for and security for did the take you over, Meboa. Most of our America is a super country, super power country, and a super hate power country. Nonsense. I don't know the same people who are stealing our gold. Powerful people are not thieves. Russia is not a TV country. They have not taken anything from Africa. America, you did. You stole our human capital. You stole our gold. You, you continuously stealing from us. This is the plain truth, America. Empress of Betty, but we will tell you. Behave. I feel you need to remember the Ghana parliament.